Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to cover literal translations of problems. And what a literal translation means is literally translating a sentence and converting it into an algebraic problem, right? And so it deals with a few things like equality, uh, arithmetic operations, and coefficients that go in front of things. So let's begin with the first one here. We have 24 subtracted from 3 times a number is 12. And what we want to do for this kind of problem is specifically for the word a number, we're going to use the letter n. All right. For the numbers already, we see that uh, this is going to be 3 times n because a number is n. And so we have 3 times that number n. So here we have 3n. Um, also, the word is is equals. This literally translates into the equal term. And so here where this is going to be equivalent to 12. And the only problem we have here is this value of 24 is going to be subtracted from 3n. And whenever we see the terms subtracted from, it's always going to be a post operation. So they're going to switch around. So in other words, if you're subtracting $20 from your bank account, you're taking the bank account value, subtracting $20 from it. So here if we're taking 24, subtracted from 3 times the number, what we have then is 3n minus 24 equivalent to the value of 12. And this is the literal translation of the first problem up here, okay? And this is the idea that we want to follow every time we see something like this. And the key words we're looking at are terms like subtracted, the product, the word times, uh, the quotient, um, more than, less than. These are all operations that we have to come into uh, terms with. And cases like subtracted from or less than or more than are called post operations in which the two terms switch over. In the case where we see something that just says the sum of, addition, they just stay very straightforward and we don't have to do any manipulating, all right? So in the second problem, what we have here, it says 10, which is a number. Then it says more than, which is a post operation, right? So this is going to help us switch the two values around. The product of 4 and the number, again, a number, we'll just use the letter n. And the number here is 4. So 4 times n is, which is equals 14. So since we have a post operation here for 10 more than 4 times n is 14, we want to swap these two around. Because anytime we see the post operation of more than, less than, or subtracted from, the two terms switch order. And so 4n more than is a plus operation, which is post. So we're adding to 4n the value of 10. And this is equivalent to the value of what's next to the right of the is, which is 14. And here's our literal translation for that equation. All right? For the last one here, we have 17 is 5 less than 7 times a number. Again, the words a number will translate to perfectly n. And this is saying 7 times that number. And here again, we have a post operation of less than, which means we're going to swap the two on the left and right of the less than and switch them around. We have here the 5 is, is the equal symbol, and 17 here is just the number 17. And so since we have the less than term right here, we're going to swap the two on the left and right of the less than, and it's going to become 7n minus 5, and the 17 is going to be the beginning of this, all right? So we have 17 equals 7n minus 5. Thank you.